Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain how you can tell a region of compression and rarefaction uh, when given the displacement position graph of a wave. Consider this position here. What I have sketched here are the position of three air molecules if they're sitting at their equilibrium position. What's happening here is this guy has got a displacement of zero which means he stays put. His neighbor on the left has got a positive displacement, which means his neighbor on the left is displaced to the right. His neighbor on the right, however, has a negative displacement, which means this guy is displaced to his left. This makes this position here more squeezy than usual which means this position here is a region of compression. What about at this location? Again, these are three air molecules uh, if they are at their equilibrium position. What's happening here is this guy has got a displacement of zero, so this guy stays put. His neighbor on the left has got a negative displacement, so this guy is displaced further to the left. His neighbor on the right has got a positive displacement. So his neighbor on the right is displaced further to the right. This will mean that at this position, the air molecules are more spaced out than usual. So what we have here is the region of rarefaction. How about here? So at this position, this guy has got a positive displacement. So he's displaced to the right. But so are his two neighbors on both sides. So all three of them are displaced to the right. Which means they are back to their usual spacing. So what we have here is just a normal atmospheric pressure. And what's happening here is both this guy and his two neighbors all have got a negative displacement and therefore all three of them are displaced to the left, which again uh, results in the normal average kind of spacing. Therefore, this region here is again normal atmospheric pressure. So basically, we have compression here because this guy stays put and his neighbors come in to squeeze him. We have rarefaction here because this guy stays put and his neighbors go further apart. And we have normal pressure here because everybody is displaced to the right. So it's the normal spacing. Same here. Everybody is displaced to the left, resulting in normal pressure. Let's now sketch the graph showing the variation of pressure with position or distance. So if there's no sound wave, uh, then uh, the pressure at everywhere should be just atmospheric pressure. So the graph will have been a boring horizontal line. And at this level here, it's actually one atmospheric pressure. If we have a sound wave, however, then we have normal pressure only here, 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 and here. And we are going to have compression here. So that's a uh, above atmospheric pressure. We have rarefaction here, compression again here, and rarefaction again here, and rarefaction here. So the graph will have looked like this. Okay, that's all. Ta-ta!